Hello everyone, welcome to Gospel Relax, my name is James and today I'll be working on a brand new N-Gage layout. Uh, it will be set up on the top bunk on my bunk bed because quite frankly I do need more, no, it's space really. And um, yeah, but first of all I need to clear up some of this mess which I've left around because I've pretty much been using it as storage up until now. But uh, now that I've got some more parts uh, I can actually get to work. So here we go. So I'm just going to give a quick view of the area, but um, I do hope to reuse as much of the wood as you can see. I've already worked out a name for it, I actually worked out that ages ago. Sorry about my poor camera work, but, um, <laughs> but yes. This layout will be called Bosnport, and um, yeah, and as I'm dismantling the top bunk, I'll give you a brief overview of you know, the layout itself, as well as showing a layout plan as well. So, here we go. So, then, Bosnport, uh, well, what to say about it really? It's um, well, based off South, uh, Portsmouth and South Sea Station, as you vaguely see on the little plan, which I sort of shown you before this. Uh, these might I picked out is because I wanted some terminus and also some run through station capability, and it seemed like a fairly good prototype to base it on. Uh, the name Bosnport comes from the two words Bosnport. Uh, based off uh, basically how Gosport, the place where I come from, uh, got its name, which apparently it's Godsport, but that's kind of not entirely. Uh, no, nobody really knows to, at this moment from what I know, uh, read. But it seemed like a good basis to get a name. So, Bosons, you no, know, Boson is a uh, roller on a ship. And uh, port, basically, it'll be a port town, but you won't be able to tell from uh, the design of the layout. Maybe the port's a bit further away, maybe it's further down the line or further up the line, either way. Maybe I'll build a layout based on that. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, like with all words and all place names, they get sorted over the years, so like Bo Bosons Port events became Boson Port. And, that's how I envision the um, layout, well, the town and layout to um, develop. Um, yeah, since I'm based off Portsmouth's LC station, uh, it's got a viaduct on the one side going through the busy town, and on the other side, it's a slightly raised up uh, trackway. No, going through some suburban area. Uh, what else to say? Well, as I said, you'll see later in the video that I had to. It's basically made up of at least four baseboards, like pencil baseboards, to make up the last one. And in the next another video, I will be showing you um, the building, the viaduct, and also the raised track area. That's pretty much it really for now. But I'll let you I'll let you enjoy the uh, build and maybe chip in now and then when something important comes up. <laughs> uh, you can see me trying to remove this railing on the top bunk of my bunk bed. Um, but unfortunately it didn't quite come off. I did have to slightly change my plans. Didn't really affect it all that much but it's, it was annoying and even with a hammer and some, well, no, yelling and <laughs> hitting it very hard, nothing really might happen to it, so oh well. Alright, as you can see here, I've got, well, pan the camera a little bit, and see the basic part of the frame. This is what I'm going to put the scenic boards on, not where the track will actually lay. If 
right, first things first is to actually get the baseboard bits of wood out of the packaging. So let me just quickly switch to that. Well, here we are opening up this package, which I did buy quite some time ago. I think it was before I bought, even started the channel, but. Oh, I'll bubble that, I need some of that. <laughs> I bought, if I remember right, I bought three four foot by one, uh, like nine mil uh, banks and two three foot by one bits. And the reason for this is, uh, well, let's make sure I'm in the shot. Yep. Right, the two three foot ones are going to be for the raised sections of the layout, the viaduct and the other bit which I can't remember the name of. Um, and the two, three four foot ones are going to be uh, the two ceiling parts uh, where the tap elm and the under bit is going and also the main uh, station area and any scraps which I'll be cutting off the side I'll be using to extend where needed anyway, I should probably do this off camera because you don't really want to watch me what do this so here we go all right here we are I finally got them all out just need to separate them a little bit There we go. A little there. That's the three foot ones. Now they'll be going back into the cupboard for a while. Of course, I'll be doing them in a different video. These ones, however, I'll be working on for this video. Anyway, let me get to work sticking all these together. I'll have to do all, uh, two of them at least today and another one I'll do most likely tomorrow because a bit knackering this. So here we go. And here I am building the, um, well assembling the, what's it, the top surface of the first baseboard. Uh, wasn't actually the most difficult part of it to build, but the most problematic part of the build it was um, like sawing everything. Uh, unfortunately, due to the weather being a bit uh, unpredictable, even though we did have some sunny parts now and then, it kept raining every so often. So I basically had to do all the building and cutting and sawing inside. But uh, yeah, I managed to get through it all. By the end of the um, end of the build, I actually ended up running out of power on my bloody um, uh, electric grill. But it's a rechargeable thing, so it's not all that much problem. So, oh well. As you can see, I've got one of them uh, screwed in properly and I have to remember to add the glue. Uh, the other one, which I've already done the cutting, uh, the reason why it's sorted is because that's where the turntable is going to be and I need access underneath. So, now yeah, that's pretty much how I want that. Now, after a bit of rest, because that um, other one's quite knackering. I'm gonna cut that one, and I can get back, and I can get excess back into the cupboard again. So yeah, 
bit, bit of a workout. So, give me five minutes or maybe ten minutes. And I'll get that one cut off. And then the rest can wait till tomorrow. So, see you in a bit. Well, here we are. Day one finished for now. A bit of problem around here, mainly because of, well, it's right up against the wall, so really didn't have many uh, good angles to cut with. But, um, yeah, don't worry about all this, all this damage here. I'll be getting, well, eventually when it's all done, or close to being all done, I'll be getting a cover board to put in front and put these little things on the outside of so it looks all nice and I have Bosnport name right there but yes I'm gonna have a well deserved break for now because I'm quite tired uh, tomorrow's work will be well so tomorrow for me, it's tomorrow for me but it'll be a couple of minutes for you so we to put the main station part over here uh, cut some little um, little things just to prop this up to be the same level as this and also well I won't be building the fiddle yard uh, board in this video but I will be laying um, the come up with the name of the framework at least over the back. So yes, getting there. Also, let's just say all the lumber. Well, say the lumber, all the wood. Yeah, a fair bit of wood to keep me going for a little bit. Anyway, I'm gonna have a break and have some dinner and I'll catch you again tomorrow so see you in a bit and welcome back it's actually been a few days since my last recording as I was actually planning to do this outside but unfortunately it's um, I think it's actually raining at the moment so I'll put I'll have to give that a skip but I'll have to do all the cutting inside today uh, well, as you can see I've got some of the pieces ready for me to cut or put together I've got a couple of more pieces I'll just move the camera a couple more pieces over here behind the glue and I've also got some bits ready to be cut up up here which I won't bore you with so I'll bring you back after I've done that and they're all ready to be put together so see you in a bit well then that's a lot of wood cut up at the moment. Now to assemble the main part which the station uh, live on. And to do that I'll be well, first of all gluing, using some screws and also using some of these reinforcement plates which I'll be putting on the joint lines. So yes, absolutely knackered from sawing all this stuff at the moment. Not looking forward to, well actually it's probably most of it done now, but not looking forward to doing any more for a while. Anyway, let me crack on doing this up uh, and maybe catch my breath. <laughs> so, see you in a bit. Now then, you can see that I've built the, I'm going to say the station piece. And now the only thing to do is this attach it to the rest of the baseboard if we can call it baseboard it's about three different bits of baseboard and when I get the fiddle yard for the back it'll be four baseboards um, <laughs> but yeah just say from underneath it's fairly unpin so I'm going to use the reinforcement plates like the ones here to attach it all together and keep it all firmly well held together really. 
So it's a bit dark, but it is underneath. There. Yeah. Anyway, better go on with it, uh, doing that before this video becomes a bit too long. So, see you when it's all done. Well then, that's all that attached now. Uh, I've also got round to attaching that as well, just so that it didn't bother me anymore. I've also done some cleaning up, but um, so it's fairly solid in my opinion. And like I said, I'll do the um, fiddle yard baseboard another day, probably not on video because uh, I need to buy some more bits of wood, well, top bits of wood. I'll give you a quick underside vid uh, clip. As you can see, I've got the reinforcement plates attached. Yeah. Yeah. I think that'll do for for a while. I have to do other videos anyway. But I'm absolutely melting now. <laughs> anyway, it's been James from Gosford Railworks and I hope you enjoyed my first video of Bosnport. I'll see you again next time. Bye bye now.